This is my hand-built 68,000 system on a solderless breadboard and running Linux. So let's take a look at what we've got here. This is the CPU. Uh, it's actually a 68008, which is like a low-cost version of the 68,000. There's 512K of RAM, 512K of ROM. The system runs at 2 megahertz, and here's the clock crystal. There's a uh, USB to serial module here, uh, which is used for talking to another computer. There's some LEDs for debug output. And then the rest of these smaller chips are all glue logic for address decoding and things like that. So let's turn it on. The first thing we see when we turn it on is the ROM based monitor program that I wrote in assembly language. The Linux kernel is also stored in ROM, so let's go ahead and jump to the Linux start address. Here we go, it's booting up, 0.81 BOGO MIPS. This is running a version of Linux called UC Linux, which is a distribution for microcontrollers and other low-end systems. Uh, it's running kernel 2.0.39, which is um, about 13 years old, so uh, it's a pretty old kernel. The root file system is stored in ROM, so it's obviously read-only. Uh, and Then it creates a read-write file system in a RAM disk and mounts that as slash var. All right, we got a shell prompt. So we can run uh, regular Unix commands. Let's check out this file. Looks pretty good. Uh, let's see what's in our bin directory. Mm, interesting. Okay. Uh, I can use VI to create a file in the RAM disk. The display from VI is a little bit messed up. Uh, I think the terminal isn't handling the ANSI escape sequences correctly. Yeah. What the hell just happened there? Da VI. Uh, All right, let's check out the file I just created. Yeah. All right, that's VI. And uh, let's check out how much free memory we've got here. Wow, a whopping 212,000 bytes of free memory. Tremendous. Uh, and this is a you know full multitasking operating system. So I can run a program in the background here to blink the LEDs on the breadboard while I continue to do other stuff on the system. So let me start that up and move the camera. All right, you can see the LEDs are blinking happily away. Check out the process list. Oh, LED blink is using 99.9% .9 of the CPU. Better kill that one. All right, and you can see the LEDs have stopped. And then last but not least, let's run this. It's the classic 
Colossal Cave Adventure. So there you have it. It's a hand-built 68,000 system on a solderless breadboard and running Linux.